let f is a function defined from real to real with continuous derivative such that f root 2 is 2 and fx is defined by this formula means limiting t tends to 0 1 upon 2t and this integral and this is true for all x which are real then f3 is equal so we have to find the value of 3 value of the function at 3 is function is given fx equal to limiting t tends to 0 1 upon 2t and integral from x minus t to x plus t and this is s f dash s with respect to ts and this is true for all x which are coming from real number and we have to find value of the function at 3 so anyhow find the function then we can easily tell about the value of the function at any real number as a we as in integrand there is no specific function is given so we cannot uh, do integration here perfectly so how to solve this problem as it is given continuous derivative so this is say, somehow giving the hint uh, we differentiate uh, this uh, function f with respect to x so f dash x means uh, i am doing or taking derivative both side with respect to x so f dash is x equal to limit t tends to 0 and applying Leibniz rule here so according to Leibniz rule and I am doing derivative so derivative with respect to x and x is involved in the integrand so replace s with upper limit and lower limit respectively and their derivatives so this can be written as x plus t x plus t f dash x plus t and derivative of x plus t is 1 so there is no need to write again x minus t f dash x minus t and this is square bracket close so we obtained this one from Leibniz rule now we do a simple calculation here means some manipulation to form some specific formulas or structure that's saying something more so x f dash x plus t just uh, apply distributive law here so this one t f dash x plus t minus x f prime x minus t and minus minus turns to positive t f prime x minus t and square bracket closed so this first term and this third term taking together so we can write a limit t tends to 0 and 1 upon 2t and this square bracket x is in both terms so you can write once here and put uh, multiply here so f prime x plus t minus f prime x minus t here divided by 1 you can write so <coughs> and next term how to write this is t f prime x plus t and uh, plus t f prime x minus t square bracket closed now some manipulation limit t tends to 0 x outside f prime x plus t x plus t minus f prime x minus t divided by 2t plus limit t tends to 0 and t cancel out by t so in denominator 2 we left f prime x plus t plus t uh, as t is cancel out from these two terms taking as t as a common so f prime x minus t you can understand better in calculation part you can do yourself limit t tends to 0 as x is free from t so you can write uh, in front of limiting limiting value and uh, this one is x plus t minus f prime x minus t divided by 2t and this is 
now taking limit inside this expression so it will be as t tends to 0 so f prime x plus f prime x and divided by 2 so this is nothing but f double prime x because its structure is same f x plus t minus f x minus t divided by 2t and limit is t tends to 0 so this is the format of f dash x so this is another form so using this one because of this is containing f prime so it will be double prime that means that x double prime f double prime x plus 2 times f prime x divided by 2 so it cancel out so we obtain x f double prime x plus f prime x finally in left hand side was f prime x equal to x f double prime x plus f prime x so this one cancel out by this one so we obtained this implies that f double prime x equal to 0 means a double derivative is 0 that means single derivative is a constant because of if we take derivative of this function then double prime will be 0 so this implies that function is a line function is a line means uh, fx is a line because of its derivative will be constant either function if function is 0 means uh, suppose if function is any either vertical or horizontal line then its derivative will be 0 and its double derivative will be 0 so both condition is satisfying if function is another line like either this one then its derivative will be constant like suppose this is 2x type then derivative of this one will be 2 or any so function is nothing but fx can be written as mx type where m is the slope of line so we we obtain that fx equal to mx but uh, m is not uh, known to us so anyhow we will find to m and then we can easily find out f3 which is asked in this question so as first condition is given f root 2 is 2 now put this condition here so using this one we can write 2 equal to root 2 x root 2 m this implying that m is equal to root 2 now we have the value of m so fx will be root 2 x now put 3 here so 3 root 2 is the value so which one option is giving 3 root 2 so 3 root 2 is in option b so b option is correct